and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on iOS 10, Interface, Widgets, and Control Center. So we've been using iOS 10 now for a couple of weeks, and I'm loving it. How about I'm you? I'm loving it. Yeah. Yep. It's a fantastic um, system. And last week, we showed you all about the fun new stuff in the Messages oh, app. that is crazy fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's really fun. And now we're getting into a little bit more about the way it looks. So we're going to start right off with showing you one thing. When you press on the Home button, Slide to Unlock is gone. Where'd it go? It's gone. So what you do to get in is you press the Home button to open. So boom, you're in. Now if you had a passcode on, we don't have one on this phone right now, or a fingerprint, you'd have to do that. Right. But I'm gonna go back out, I'm gonna turn the phone off, and I'm gonna go show you the new things that you can do from the lock screen. Okay. So we, we tap on it, and if we swipe to the left, we have the Today View, which you may notice from the Notification mm -hmm. Center. This is your Today View. It's changed a little bit um, in that it's using, it's also called the widget space. And we're right. going to talk about that in just a minute. Really a great, fun feature. Puts um, key <clears throat> things that right at your key fingertips. Key things right at your fingertips. If I swipe back, I'm back to this unlock screen. And if I swipe to the right, lo and behold, I'm in the camera. Oh, and what a lovely shot that would Yeah, be. that's a great <laughs> shot, the back of our set. So I'm going to turn that off, and we're going to go back in. That's um, nice though, handy features right at really your lock great. screen. Really right at the lock screen. I'm going to show you another great feature. I have to oops, move the stand back and I'm going to lay the phone flat. Okay. This is a feature you can turn on in display brightness and display mm -hmm. and brightness setting. <clears throat> and it's called raise to wake. So you just pick your phone up oh, and it'll wake and up. On. So if you need to quickly get to, you know, you want to see your notifications, you just raise right. it up and it's on. That's so nice. that's a really nice feature. Now is that for every phone? Yeah, that's for okay, every phone. Right. right, and we are working on an iPhone 6S here today, mm -hmm. um, but these features work the same on an iPad, um, on a you know an right. iPhone 6 Plus. Right. And uh, you'll also notice, you know, things on the um, iPads look a little different. It's a little bit off-center. Bigger screen, yeah. Bigger screen, but um, in general, it's pretty much the same. Right. So we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at that left swipe, and this is our widget space. And okay. this is a what really, is a widget? Well, a widget is a little bitty piece of an app. Right. And it adds some functionality right here on the screen. So here's the calendar app. Oh, we went into a little screensaver there. Here's the calendar app, and it's showing uh, that we're filming today. So it's got mm -hmm. a little bit, and if we tap on it, no, not here. <clears throat> nope. It's going to take us right into the calendar. Perfect. Okay. Um, that's because we are unlocked. So I'm going to go back out to the home page. Another way you can get to it is by swiping left from the home page. Yep, that's what he said. Yeah. Okay. And um, the next thing we have is the Siri app suggestions, mm -hmm. if you have that turned on. And you can tap on show more and she'll show more, mm -hmm. or show less and she'll show less, or they'll now, show less. these are things that you said you wanted here. Yes. And you're gonna show us in a minute yes. where you can edit what you want. <clears throat> and it defaults to what this is right here, and then yeah. you can change it. Um, here's my news top stories. Yeah. Um, again, you can show less or more. Here's mm -hmm. the weather, that's kind of nice. You wanna show a little bit more, you can see the what the day right. is gonna be like. And we'll go all the way to the bottom, and we go into Edit. Edit. And this is where you can add or subtract um, widgets if your app supports it, and most do. Like right. Evernote does. I mean, there's yeah. all these apps, and I'm like, why would I want that as a widget? But then I'm trying to think, well, maybe there's a reason for it. So here are the default ones. So let's say that we want to go in and we want to take one off. All we do is hit the switch and remove it. And it pops back into the more widgets area. These and that's are all where you can see what ones you can put in there. Right, all the apps that we have on this phone that um, you can put in there. So if I want to add in uh, the Photos app, I'll just add a plus to it, and now it's going to show up up here. You can also change the order. Um, you may be familiar with this from like moving around other things in on your phone, iPhone, the Photos, Photos app. app, and other places. You just tap on the three line icon. And move it around so we just move oh, photos awesome. up to the top so you can put the things you like the most at the top at the top the things you need to get to yeah so then when we say done we come out and we're gonna see um, our new widget up here at the top right in the photos app oh, that is so great. and again if you tap on it it'll take you right into it right so it's really a great feature I love the today view yeah with the new widgets right the next thing we're gonna look at is notifications right now you still pull down from the top and we're gonna look at this and you can see uh, if I swipe, there's two pages. Down here you can see there's two dots. That means there's two pages. This first one, again, is our Today View right. with all our widgets. So it's just another so third way to get to it. Exactly. 
And um, that, but here, this is your notification um, from your different apps, what, depending on what you have set up in settings for those apps, you might get notifications here and they'll right. be again by the day. So that's the same as, you know, it was before. Right. And also notice here, you're really seeing the new clean look of iOS 10. Right. The, the nice um, rounded corner boxes with the, the soft white background. I mean, right. the, the notifications um, and the whole look of the iOS 10, I just really like. Yeah, I do too. Very clean, nice. very fresh, um, yep. really easy to read. They've mm -hmm. really, really done a great Maps job. Maps is so much easier to read. Oh, we're, yeah. sure we're doing another video on that, but as you're driving around, it's so big and clear. Maps has really changed, <clears throat> yep. So the next thing we're going to look at, is, again, is the control the control panel from down here. So what we're looking at now really is the way the interface has changed and different features. Right. So here it is, and you can see there's two dots here. So there's two pages now. Here's your control panel like you're used to looking at. And then you swipe, and look, they've given you a really nice big panel for music. Yeah, which is great. Which makes so much sense. It was so hard yeah. to hit the, the volume, right. to get the volume for right. the music when you were in the other one. Right, and then if you use the home app, and have home kit devices, you would have a third button right. that you would swipe to, and then you control your lights or your heating or you know whatever you have set up with that. With home which, kit, which um, we'll be doing a video. With right, that home kit a is amazing. Later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if I go back here to the main page, another thing to show you, um, if you have a 6S or above with the force touch, is it set up some nice little shortcuts. Um, if I use the force touch on the flashlight, it comes up. And this is amazing. Hallelujah. You oh, so nice. In the middle of the night, if you're, you know, making a trip to the bathroom, you right. can change it to low light. You don't have to wake your spouse up with this glaring right, right. <laughs> Nazi light. Um, so that's fun. And um, if you tap on the timer, it gives you some preset ones. Oh, 20 minutes, you know, just quick, kind of easy access, right? Oops. And, Oops. and then you go you back into it. Into it. <laughs> Um, the calculator, that's kind of funny. Copy, Copy your last, last results. Result. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the more accountant type. Maybe right. that's something they use a lot. I need, to, I need that number. <laughs> and the camera's fun. If you press and hold on that, take a photo, record slow-mo, record video, or take a selfie. Yeah. So instantly, if I click on one of them, it'll instantly set that up. Right. So again, you need the um, force touch, or, or you go right into the photo right. the camera. Right. You need the force touch to be able to push. But right. So that would be a 6S right. or greater. Right, 6S over. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and of course, you can also access that control panel from the lock screen as well. Right. Yep. So if we turn it off, we can show that you right. can but just that's... swipe up and you've got the same thing here. Yep. And it'll default to what you were last on. So if you're listening to music, mm -hmm. it'll be this one when you swipe up from the right. bottom. So it's right. really nice. The music one I love because it's so clean. Right. Now, and the last thing we want to cover about the interface of iOS 10 is that now you can finally delete the stock apps. Isn't that great? Yes. And what is a stock app? It's those apps that come over from Apple um, that kind of, you know, are standard and you could never delete before. Things like the calendar, mail, maybe you don't use the Apple mail, you know, right. music, um, the app store, maybe you don't want to go to the app store. Oh, well, actually the app store oh, right. is one of those. There are some that you yeah. can't delete. Yeah. And the app store is one of them and settings and, and the photos phone and messages. Yeah. Um, but everything else, like maybe you don't care about voice memos or the calculator. Or, or... Apple News. Right. Yeah. So that's a great feature. Now you can delete those and uh, customize your phone that way. Right. So we hope that you enjoy the interface as much as we do, the bold, clean, new yep. look, um, all the great features. Look for our other videos on iOS 10 um, in the coming weeks. And um, thanks for learning with Sync Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.